guys today we're taking you with us so that you can witness how bad I can bike today I will be your bozo your bike bozo It's a beautiful day, it's not so busy. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. A lot of runners. <coughs> a lot of professional bikers. It really is a beautiful day. I hope you can use this this video when you're doing your biking at the gym. There's Mike. It's so beautiful. And it's so nice to bike when it's this kind of weather. We're still working on a better angle of the camera. But for now, plus this is a test. This is one of the two main cemeteries of Amsterdam. Okay, you guys see it? This is one of the two main cemeteries of Amsterdam. Looks really nice. It's called Zorgvliet. Looks really nice. Because Holland is so small, it's really hard to get a, a place. I've been looking for one for me and Mike. And also, I want to be buried, not cremated. And that's almost impossible to find something for life, where you can be buried for life. So I'm still working on that. Because everything is full. What can you do? Shit happens then we die. Yeah, it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful cemetery. Yeah. Would have expected it to be open. Yeah. It isn't, unfortunately. Yeah. Why wouldn't they be open? People need to. S yeah, but I don't know. People need to come and visit their loved ones. Don't understand this. There are no opening times here. I see it maybe it's just open. Maybe it's just open. I don't think so. Yeah, it could be. No. No? It's locked. <laughs> no. Okay. Nine, uh, yeah, we're early. We're early, guys. We, we wanted to beat the traffic because uh, I think we left home eight, Mike, around eight ish. Yeah, and it was yeah. nice to, to, to start up. Always, We always love to start up when it's not that crazy. Let me give you, let me give you a view over the lake. Let's see what's happening over the lake. I don't want to come too close because I don't want to disturb that sweet duck at the end of the dock. Duck at the end of the dock. Do you guys see her? I don't want to disturb her. But look at that. It's nice. So the camera is still mounted on my bike. Hence the angles. I'm gonna try and stabilize it as much as I can. There's the rowers again, <laughs> love that. 
People love to row here. We Dutch people love to row. That voice sounds like something from a video game. Like a purge. Like a purge, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a purge. Yeah, or a curfew, or like they're announcing a curfew. Yeah. Yeah. There is no outside for no one after nine. I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna stop here guys doing a little break. I don't wanna bore anyone and I'll be back to you in a minute. It is beautiful road with a lot of flowers. You can actually smell them. Smell the flowers on this beautiful Saturday morning. Oh, I see a meal. I see a meal. show you one of our Dutch pride ladies and gentlemen a meal wait I need to tilt the iPhone <laughs> there it is this is actually a very famous meal because why is it famous why, why, why? Well, maybe the man of the hour himself can tell you why. No, I'm not talking about Mike. Although Mike is the man of the hour too. But I'm talking about another national treasure, Rembrandt. Mike, it is true, right? Rembrandt did draw this meal. All right, let me walk up to him. And then we're gonna go sit for a while. All right, there he is. Can you guys see him? Yeah, you can. There he is. So this is statue of Rembrandt. As he was sitting here, enjoying that meal. I'm gonna turn and give you a better view. Isn't that beautiful? The mill and the river. Because, fun fact, this is the main river that's going into Amsterdam. This is the Amstel. So that's why Amsterdam is called the Amstel, I think. Somehow it is connected to that name. So that's the meal he draw in the background. It's that meal. Isn't that nice? Then? So that's a meal with a little bit of a history. You gotta love Holland. I love Holland. Holland. Guys, you know what time it is? It's time for Diet Cook. No, not the Mickey Pretzel. So we're gonna sit here under this tree, enjoy the meal, and watch people because there are a lot of tourists on this little bench. So we just had our break. I don't know if you guys can hear me. A lot of wind. I don't know if you can hear me, but we had a nice break. And now we're continuing. A lot of tourists came up to admire our e-bikes. That was so sweet. So I told them these are our Harley Davidsons. And Crack them up.
a lot of fancy villas and mansions. So I always keep, keep the speed at uh, 2 or 3 because I want to pedal and get my wor uh, workout. But if you don't want that, if, if you don't want to you know, go to workout and burn some calories, you can go up on these kind of roads up to 4 or 5 and not having to pedal. But I just love to get some, some uh, exercise and get moving. So um, yeah. Like for this hill, this little hill, two or three max is sufficient. A lot of fancy homes, really. Most of them have their own private dock for their uh, boat also, as you can see on the side. I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful day, but I see a lot of dads working in their office room. That's the price you pay if you want to live here. Means you also can't do this when the weather is nice. Work, work, work. Money, money, money. Guys, look what we encountered. This beautiful chateau. Wait, I'm putting it. You mean houses like these or? Yeah, true. Well, I think it's a sign of the time. People want to get out of the buzz of the city and just be able to live in places like these because it is beautiful this is probably one of the best probably one of the best bike routes here in Amsterdam this is beautiful if you guys love biking and you're here in Amsterdam you have to come up this way and there is a little cafe that serves uh, some nice lunch breakfast no no breakfast I think lunch and it's called the little calf you know as in the little youngling of a cow just ask for that. Ask direction to decline a calf. All right, let's move on. Guys, this is delicious. Just uh, throw in in your water bottle, throw in a um, couple of pieces of pineapple, fresh pineapple, and then um, a handful of blueberries. It's so refreshing, so good. Oh my god, I'm, I'm too close to the microphone. <laughs> but this is so good, it's so nice, it smells so good. Guys, look, cows. <laughs> cows and swans, there's the swan. And geese. And geese and, and cross. Crows. Crows, yeah. Wait, 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 let me get myself up there. Can you guys see the cows? Let me see if I can. Dutch cows are 
and this is a true story one of the best kind of cows here in Holland I know my grandma God rest her soul she used to love Dutch cows she was she owned actually a Dutch cow she was so proud of it they're so cute and I mean in, in North Africa, not in Holland. That's what makes it special, this story. My grandma in North Africa owned a Dutch cow. It, it is as if it was predestined that I'd end up here in Holland. Look at these swans, so cute. That is really cute. I love cows. Who doesn't love this kind of vibe man i love it oh wait wait i'm still too zoomed in yeah beautiful man this is really good for relaxation good idea mike it was going to cross the bridge and yeah which bridge oh. go back Oh yeah, we're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it. Is that what they say? Cross that bridge when they get to it. Oh, I know that cows love this. Cows love this plant. I know because grandma used always to give it as a snack. This one. Do you guys know it? So it's only fitting that they grow around cows. I don't think they have a lot of calories. <laughs> I don't think they have a lot of calories. But I think you do want calories for your cows. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, I want to keep it up filming, guys, but then it will be a, a too long video for you and it will bore you. Maybe, maybe next time we'll do it live. I don't know, can we bike here? No, I wouldn't recommend it. What do you think, Mike? Should we get off here? Yeah? Oh. Mike says it said so we had to get off the bike. We want to be good citizens. <laughs> wow. Indian restaurant. And a nice cafe, nice seats here on the water. Can you guys see it? It's nice. Very peaceful. So typical Dutch. I love it. Nice vibe here. I feel like I'm in some theme park, but this is actually not so that far away from our home. <laughs> it feels like a theme park. It's like, I understand. <clears throat> that way? That way is closed. Maybe we should uh, bike on a little bit further. It's also cute. I can understand why some tourists behave like it's all a theme park. Though it isn't, guys. <laughs> this is actual world and people actually live here. You want us to get on the ferry? But I, I didn't see the ferry uh, going. Are you sure? Maybe we can continue. Maybe we can continue here. All right, let's figure this out, guys. Meanwhile, look at this cute, cozy street. So guys, I think we're stuck here. This ferry doesn't, it, it's not a standard ferry. It's more like leisure ferry or somehow, something. Here it is, it's very old. But these are the dates that the ferry operates. And it costs 50 cents per person per time. <laughs> There's the ferry, look at that, how beautiful it is. Love it, so mechanical, so vintage. I love it, you can actually see cobwebs, is that how you call it? spider webs on it so that tells you that this is not being operated daily 
but still it's so cute so now we have to find a way around this Mike, we're going to be doing some recalculating. Yeah. Well, I don't know, huh? Maybe we should just go back. Or maybe continue biking, see what we see. No, but they aren't, there are not going to be any bridges there. Well, we ah, okay, 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 okay. Forward to the next bridge, but I think that's only a highway. Okay. But we can uh, give it a try. Yeah, let's just explore, see what we find. It's very uh, close. All right, guys, so let's film this cozy street. This, this almost theme park street. I'm trying to, oh. oh. I was trying to adjust the um, iPhone for you to give you guys a better angle. But the street is so curved, it, it pushes, yes, those guys are making fun of me. I'm now the bozo of this village, the bike bozo of this village, this is me. Look, I, I cannot explain it, but the, the middle of the street is so curved, it has always, almost a hump, so it pushes you to the side. and. I was trying to adjust the camera and that is not something you can do on a street like this because you're being pushed as it is automatically to the side. This is a wider view. Maybe this is better. are being built. Such a cozy village. Kunnen we hier nog door? Nee, hij, hij stuurt ons terug naar die pond. Maar die pond die kan dus niet. All right, this is a weird angle, but I'm doing it so that you guys can see as much as possible. And we found another meal. Look at that. I love meals. I love them. I love them. On the water side, see? Because meals need water to operate. Wait, let me let me get a shot of this meal. The back of it. Look how cute and charming it is. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually a little table. 
Wait, 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 wait. No, I can't do this. I'm sorry. So, do you guys see that little table in the sun facing the east? Beautiful. So cute, so cozy. Guys, Mike was just saying, I was doing a little bit for Instagram, promoting this video. But Mike was saying, these we call Knotvelge in Dutch. Knot Knotvelge. <laughs> you see them always uh, along the road uh, when you're biking. Is that United Air? Yeah, it's United Air. Well, <laughs> Say hi to America. Mwah. Beautiful. I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, this is typical. You smell animals. Yeah, look, a lot of cows and they're huge. These cows are really huge. We're standing here and they're huge from this distance, let alone when you get closer. Yeah. Guys, have I told you the story about myself being chased by cows and people, you know, another day where I was the bozo of the village, Peep, cows, I, I was working on a farm and, and a cow decided to chase after me and I was screaming and yelling. My God, that was humiliating. Hey, stop judging me. We all have our, our bad days. All right, let's see what Mike, where Mike is. My God, look at these cows. They're gigantic. I'm serious, I'm not kidding. They're gigantic. My grandma said some cows tend to be naughty, so we need to be firm sometimes with some cows. Because although they look sweet and kind, but when they feel your weakness, they won't respect you anymore. God, guys, they're huge. Ah, look, there's a youngling. Look at that. Ah, these are beautiful. Look at that, guys. They're beautiful. Wow, you do not want to mess around with this bull. Oh my God, how I missed it. How I miss that sound. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh no, that's not a bull. That's actually a cow with horns. She has an udder. Uh, well, so this is this is a certain kind of cows where the females also have. You look, she's the dom. She's she's the mate. This is matriarch society. She's the boss. Look the way she looks at us, like, what do you want? Try and come closer. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting from her. You just try. You just try and come closer. <laughs> they're huge, they're beautiful. I love this. This is such a happy sight. I love them. I love cows. Looks like they're shaved, no? It's just this is just a, a, a kind of cows. They're so cute. All right, beautiful, beautiful field. Little break here. Oh yeah, there's the arena. Uh, arena. Those of you that love Dutch football, soccer. That boy is doing his job. He's really guarding the farm. Yes, we know that is your territory. We're not coming. We're not coming there. Good boy. 
good, good boy. Did you guys know that some people prefer swans as uh, their protective animals? To have swans guarding over the farms? Ah, I see ducks and ducklings. That is so cute. I see mom and dad and their ducklings. <laughs> That's so cute. Hi guys. I don't want to disturb them too much. Gorgeous. It's just gorgeous this whole area. So? No, <laughs> I'm not gonna glide here down. Okay, so that is the ferry that we missed. Well, we didn't miss it. It wasn't running yet. It's very simple, very cute. So that could have been us when we were on the other side, but it wasn't running yet. Still waiting for that restaurant to open up. There's Mike. And there is that meal that we shared with you early on in the video. Rembrandt on the foreground. It's not quiet, but every now and then a lot of buses pull up here with tourists. <laughs> it's crazy. You see the tourists come in, come out, they do their thing, take the pictures and then they go in. And then that's this again, it's peaceful again. <laughs> a lot of American tourists. <laughs> a lot of elderly people, a lot of elderly American tourists. That's what we see, which is nice. The kind of the tourists that you want because they're usually quiet, peaceful. You know, they're elderly. They're not going to be partying naked on the streets. So. These are little gardens for school, for kids to start learning about nature and vegetables and all that. Oh, look, there's one of these buses that I was just talking about. 